I got three of swords. I got queen of cups. And I got seven of swords. And so what troubles me is this three of swords. It's actually called sorrow. Um, this is queen of cups. And this is futility. Seven of swords. Uh, sevens represent caution. Um, three on here. This card up right, it, it represents loss. Um, heartbreak. So I don't know if this is something. What is the status of my documents? It seems like something you're very vested in. Now, for the most card part, all of these cards are upright. They're all upright. Nothing's reversed. So, and then Queen of Cups, um, emotional wisdom, you know, just learning from the situation and gaining experience and doing things different based off the wisdom that you've obtained, right? Queen of Cups, just being really in tune. So I feel like there's going to be a lot going on with the, the status of these documents. It's not over. Um, be cautious. Be careful. Make sure you have all your paperwork together. Make sure you dot all your T's. Cross your T's and dot your I's. <laughs> Always mix it up. Um, just be careful. But um, the status is it's going to be a lot. And in, in real time, I don't know what's the reality of when you need these back, but I could say anywhere between now and next summer. Okay? I don't know what those documents are to you, but... That's when I get out of this. And if it does happen, it's going to be a lot of tears, a lot of obstacles and challenges. It's not going to be easy. OK, so I hope that helped. I hope that resonated somehow. Drop me some ones if it did. Um, it looks like there's nobody on Instagram right now. Uh, there's no more questions here on Instagram. So I can continue on YouTube here. And now we've got Wave Killer. Let me see where you at. How does Barris feel towards along with how does Aiden feel towards as who would be my true love? Okay, you got a little situation over here. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what's going on. <laughs> you got a little situation over here. A little situation. What's up, Nubian Archer? What's up, Candace? You got your popcorn? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to see how many more readings I got on YouTube. I'm trying to stick around for a little bit. Um, I've been on here for like two hours trying to manage my time wisely. You feel me? So we got a little situation. All right, I pulled that card before, so I'm going to reshuffle. If it comes back up, it was meant to be here. You feel me? Oh. Is this bad shuffling, or is this the divine? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we got some fresh, different cards. Up in here. Ah! And for the sake of time, I'm only going to do one intuition card. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Because I have to read off the book. So it takes up some time. And I'm going to try to get everybody reading. Alrighty. Ooh. All right, so the intuition card that was pulled was the mentor. The mentor. And uh, the affirmation is, I respect and learn from the wisdom of my elders. In most cases, a person does not get to live as long as the mentor, unless they have always been wise beyond their years. 
Those who know this and seek out the company of the mentor and the many older people like her will be rewarded with learning life lessons that they otherwise would have had to suffer through on their own to learn. Having the benefit of such wisdom gives a young person an advantage that will benefit them now and throughout their life, culminating in their becoming a mentor too. Just as the old must forgive the child, childness, childishness, ignorance, and lack of attention of the young and pass their wisdom on to anyone wise enough to seek it out, the young must be compassionate with the frailties and distractedness of the old and help them do the many things necessary to lead a comfortable life in this technology advancing age. The stick carved by the mentor can also be symbolic of how we all want to leave our mark on our measured finite lifetime. The, the act of helping another person and making their life better for having known you is the most powerful way to have an impact on society. It is, it is a deceptively simple way of doing so, but this is known to be true by every mentor worthy of thy name. And, and I spoke about it in somebody else's reading previously. You know, when somebody meets you, like, what is the takeaway? How do they make you feel? Right? What was that experience like? And I always really try to um, incorporate that in all of my experiences with humans, no matter who it is, my children, just anybody, right? Like, I just want them to just when people think of me just have a certain and you can you can do that right it's how you act it's, it's the energy you give off it's what you do what you say everything about you right and so here we have and this is oh this is about the two guys right which one likes who so i don't know if you know these people's signs but that was interesting to lead off with so first off i, I feel like this is about wisdom. So automatically we we have to play into factor of like which person that you've no longer, right? Because this is a matter of which person should you talk to or go with, right? How does Barris feel towards you? How does Aiden feel towards you? And who's your true love? So first things first, it's kind of like who's been there for you, right? Think about the experiences that you've had with these people, these two guys and which ones were more meaningful, more impactful, um, which experiences felt better, you know, like on that note, okay? And then we have trump card, which is adjustment. This is this should be scales, right? Um, we've got four of swords reversed, which is truce. And then we've got five of wands reversed, which is strife. And so Libra's on this card. I don't know if one of these people are Libra or they have Libra in their charts, but the person that you are investing time in and they're giving you that time and energy back. That's first and foremost. So whoever it is, Aiden or Barris, right? Who's investing? You call them. They answer your calls. They call you. You don't have to call them. They text you back. Like they're actually interested in, in how your day went. You don't have to text them every day to start the conversation or to create a connection, right? They're, they're also creating a connection too. Then we've got uh, Four of Swords reversed. Truce. So somebody you've had arguments with right who's the person less who's the one that kind of is able to come to resolutions better right which one is able to come to resolutions as opposed to which one is like stubborn don't want to meet halfway those are things that you want to take into consideration and then lastly um this card is reversed it's five of wands it's strife but so like who brings the most peace okay this is saying who brings you the most peace and so with all that being said, that is who is for you. Who is your true love? The person that is putting in the energy like you are, right? They're, you're giving and they're taking and then they're giving and you're taking. And the person who is resolution-based more, who is not going to argue a lot and just be combative and defensive, that comes with baggage and shadow work. So this person is self-confident, self has self-love you know, self-care for themselves. And then lastly, who creates the most peace, right? Who just wants to create experiences and memories as opposed to argue and just be victim and what was me and just have that negative kind of attitude. So whichever one that is, sis, that's the one that's for you. All right, so uh, let me know if that resonates. And...
How do they feel towards me? Um, I mean, that pretty much you can you can still answer that based on what was given to you. The person who is giving you the most time, the person who is being resolution based the most, and the person who's creating the most peace. All right. Latoya. So that's it. At the Latoya. I'm done. Right. There's no more questions on Instagram. After Latoya, I'm gonna wrap it up, y'all. All right, I did a solid, I did a solid 120 minutes. You feel me? <laughs> um, and I have fun with y'all. And I haven't been on two platforms in a while, so this was pretty cool. Make sure everybody that's here, make sure y'all like the video at least on YouTube, please, and then make sure you're subscribed. Um, right. All right, Latoya. So. You want a general reading. I got you, sis. So this is the last one. Latoya made it in. Make sure you're following me on all platforms because I know y'all got more than YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I'm everywhere. Everywhere you see me, just Google Unique Divination. Click the link and just click the link up there that I pinned on YouTube. And then on Instagram, click the link in my bio and just look at everything. Go to the bottom of my link tree and you'll see all the icons. Amazon, YouTube. I got everything hooked up, okay? I am everywhere. I'm in these streets. You feel me? <laughs> Renard, I'm so sorry. I am about to tab out after this last reading. Latoya was the last reading for the night on two platforms. I appreciate y'all. But um, make sure that you follow me. Make sure that you're subscribed for when I go live again. Because I don't go back to work until I got a few more days off. So I I'll pop up again. I will pop up again. You feel me? And Latoya would like a general. Oh, I like this. I like these cards. Make sure you tap in all the other videos that I do on YouTube. I do celebrity tarot readings. Um, I do full moon readings, new moon readings. Kind of tap in. And my readings are timeless. So they pretty much resonate. If, if you tapped in into any of my, my readings and you listen to the content, most likely it's going to apply to your situation.